Hey everyone, welcome into an at-home edition of the Cleveland Browns Report. Matthew Peterson here talking about a Greg Newsom injury update along with Kareem Hunt playing this upcoming Sunday against the Tennessee Titans. Now let's talk about the defensive side first because Greg Newsom has been ruled out for this Sunday's game against the Titans. And that's obviously a bit of a loss, no doubt about it, for this defense because Greg Newsom has been playing some of his best football. I mean, it's only been two games, so it's not a very big sample size, but Newsom has been one of the best defenders, believe it or not, even though he plays a position where they don't really get a ton of attention when you're in the nickel and the slot and whatnot. But his PFF grade is at 74.1 right now through two weeks. I mean, that's five points higher than where it was last year. Jim Schwartz has always been very, uh, you know, complimentary of Greg Newsom. He says he's one of the best nickel corners in the NFL. So this is definitely going to be a loss that is felt across the defense. I think you can expect to see more of Cameron Mitchell, the rookie out of Northwestern. He played, I think, like 10 or so snaps uh, in Monday night's game filling in for Greg Newsom. So we go from one Wildcat to another Wildcat. But the good news, if you will, is they're playing the Tennessee Titans. And I hope that I don't jinx this or anything, but it's not like Ryan Tannehill has been lighting it up so far through two weeks. And it's not like that's a receiver room that's just completely filled with talent. They have DeAndre Hopkins, but Hopkins is an outside receiver. He's not going to play a lot in the slot. So that'll be on Martin Emerson and Denzel Ward to keep him busy. But as for the rest of this Tennessee Titans receiving core, they've got a second year guy, Traylon Burks. You might remember he was a first round pick last year out of Arkansas. He's gotten off to a nice start, but those are pretty much the only two guys they have. They have Nick Westbrook at Keen. He's not going to be a real difference maker. Again, I'm sure I'm going to eat my words later on Sunday. But for now, I feel confident in saying they're not going up against Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, where it's one of those kind of all hands on deck type of receiving rooms. If there is a time where you are going to miss a starting corner, going up against the Tennessee Titans wide receiver room is probably one of the best rooms you could go against if you're a little bit shorthanded. So hopefully I don't jinx anything. And if I do, you know who to blame. But for being honest, not many people are afraid of the Titans receiving core after their top two guys, Hopkins and Traylon Burks. You still have your two you know, dominant outside corners in Denzel Ward and Martin Emerson. But no Newsome this Sunday. Next week they have the Ravens. And well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But the Ravens receiving core is kind of a peculiar one, if you will. Now, with Greg Newsom out, like I said, it'll be Cameron, Cameron Mitchell filling in most likely at the slot. Now, let's go to the other side of the ball here, and let's talk about Kareem Hunt for a moment, because Kevin Stefanski said Kareem Hunt is going to suit up and play this upcoming Sunday against the Titans. Uh, the word on the street is that Kareem Hunt showed up to his workout like 10 pounds lighter than he was last season. He looked good. He was in football shape, and there's some and I'm definitely a part of this, you know, um, hesitancy and speculation as to how impactful Kareem Hunt will be, right? For starters, it's September and he was unsigned. Does that mean the whole league has kind of moved on from him and the Browns are just crawling back because they're desperate? Or is there a little bit more to the story? Well, some sources say Kareem Hunt literally passed on opportunities to play with other teams because he didn't think it was a good fit. I've got no idea who the other teams were. That seems a bit strange. I mean, Maybe he did, but also it was September. Like at some point you think he'd be happy to play for anyone just to keep getting some paychecks coming in. So I, I don't think he was banking on a Nick Chubb injury to have his return to Cleveland. That wasn't a very sound bet to make, although it did end up working out that way. Um, no one really forecasted Nick Chubb missing time. I mean, the guy's an Iron Man. So I don't know if Kareem Hunt just got lucky or if he truly did pass on opportunities because he was waiting for the right one and there it was the Cleveland Browns giving him a phone call now before we talk more about Kareem Hunt and Jerome Ford and what this running back room is going to look like I do want to know like are you guys in on Kareem Hunt coming back right is this something you think is going to work out or are we just trying to open the yearbook go back to that 2020 2021 Kareem Hunt before he got her and Hope that that guy is going to walk through the door and run onto the field on Sunday. Or are you more in my camp? And that my camp is, listen, I would love for Kareem Hunt to ball out. That is what's best for this team. That is what I'm rooting for. But if I'm giving my honest opinion, it's that the guy I saw last year did not look like the guy who led the NFL in rushing in Kansas City. Didn't look like the guy 
who in his second year with the Browns went over a thousand yards from the line of scrimmage between rushing and receiving. No, he looked like a guy that took um, zone handoffs from the shotgun and was met at the line of scrimmage every single time and never really was able to get around the corner and get some running room and get into open space. I'm afraid that guy's about to come out on the field. And if that's the case, dude, we all are we all forgetting last year? Like the Bills game, I remember, that was in Detroit. Just all of us collectively screaming like, Stefanski, stop giving Kareem Hunt the ball. The guy entered the stat line every week of like five carries for 13 yards. Can we stop trying it? It's not working. So hopefully I'm wrong. No doubt about it. But I'm worried. No doubt about that. That's for sure. So let me know what what version of Kareem Hunt do you think is going to come onto the field this Sunday? The old one? The one we saw last year? Or something different altogether? Sound off in the comments section. All right, let's talk a little bit more about the running back room because it is Jerome Ford's season. Make no mistake with Cream Hunt returning. I know that's an eye-catching name and it's a familiar face and all that good stuff. But Jerome Ford, in Kevin Stefanski's own words, is this team's RB1. I don't know how long that's going to stay, right? Being the starting running back and just being a starter in general is not a right. It's a privilege. So if Jerome Ford does not get things going... I don't think he has a super duper long leash where Kevin Stefanski is going to give him week after week after week to prove he is worthy of being a starting running back, which is why I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, I should say concerned, which is why I'm a little bit skeptical. How about that? That if we get the next two weeks in, Titans, Ravens, which are two good defenses, by the way, like Jeffrey Simmons, and we know Baltimore's defense is always going to play tough and physical. If we go out of those, if we come out of those two games in the running room, in the running department is not looking like it is where not where we want it to be because of course you cannot replace Nick Chubb but it's not 75% of Nick Chubb maybe you see some moves after the bye week right maybe you see some moves during the bye week where the Browns go hey maybe we're gonna look a little bit lucky here with a week five bye we can make another move we can bring someone in and they have two weeks to practice or you know one week of practice but two weeks with the playbook at least before they take the field again against the San Francisco 49ers at home which The Niners right now, I think they look like the best team in the NFL. Not going to lie. The Niners usually get off to a slow start. It is not the case this year. They have beaten up on all three opponents so far. So we are talking way down the line here. But my point is, we've got two weeks before the bye. And I think these next two weeks are critical for the Browns to really assess what their running back room is looking like. And if they come out of those two weeks not impressed with Jerome Ford and Kareem Hunt... Maybe Andrew Barry makes a move and he brings in someone else. Who that could be, you can go all over the map. You could go from Jonathan Taylor to another like Pierre Strong type of trade where it's another team's backup running, like a Dearness Johnson, if you will. So a long ways to go, but that's the news of the day. So we're going to sign off. We're going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your Friday. We'll be back later with more content and whatnot, but I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you like the video, subscribe. We're always putting out brownies content here.